Hi everyone, Dr. Joanne here with another video. This one is how to heal autoimmune diseases using your mind. So I am a mind-body doctor and a mindset coach and let's just have our quick conversation, our disclaimer. I no longer treat or diagnose any illnesses. Um, if you do find yourself with an autoimmune disease, make sure that you are um, in touch with your healthcare provider and continue to take all the medications, do the treatments that you are doing and that are helpful, all the things. But we're going to take a look at the mindset aspects. If you want to clean up your mind so that your body has a chance to heal, that's what we're going to talk about today. So anytime we are looking at these things, we what I go to is A Course in Miracles, which is a mindset course. And it teaches us how to clean up all of our shadow stuff, our belief systems that are no longer serving us, and um, gain emotional clarity and and all the things. And so when we're looking at autoimmune diseases or really anything else, again, we, we want to kind of take a slow approach. We want to learn some new things while we're still doing our old things, the old things that we did. So again, taking medications, taking supplements, um, getting treatment, whatever it is that you have been doing, or if you need to be tested for anything, go ahead and do all those things. And then right along with that, you can start doing some mindset things, cleaning some things up so that you have a chance to feel better. And so you have a chance to connect the dots on what's really going on and how these things get created. Because in the mindset world, A Course in Miracles teaches that your body is just a reflection of your thoughts, your the energy, your energy set point, so your thoughts and your beliefs and your emotions. So your body gives you information. So if you've developed an autoimmune disease over, over a period of, of years, and any autoimmune disease, we're just going to talk in generalities here. So rheumatoid arthritis, Hashimoto's, Graves' disease, um, irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, Addison, celiac, lupus, um, MS. It really doesn't matter, but I want you to ask yourself some questions about this. Like, how did this all start? Because it'll give you information so that you can connect the dots so that you know what to heal. So when I was in chiropractic practice and somebody had an autoimmune disease and what I would ask is, do you remember a really significant emotional, emotionally stressful event that happened just before your health started to decline and you went into this process of developing your autoimmune disease? And most of the time, there was some big event, some big emotional event, whether it was you know, having a baby or losing a loved one or a divorce or a relationship falls apart or, um, you know, just something big, some big emotional event was, was part of the process. And when we have emotional stress, it shows up in our body if we don't have tools to help process all of that stuff. So that's one thing. One, did you have a big emotional event that... Maybe you never really fully processed. You just kind of buried it in your body. Um, you might need to go back and clean that up. That's a possibility. Another thing you want to ask yourself is, do you have a habit of saying yes to things that you would rather say no to? So when we're making decisions, this is a big part of healing too, is like learning what your no's are, learning what your yeses are. So making decisions that are best for you and not making your decision based on what you think other people want you to do. So that's people pleasing and a lot of us do that too. So did you say yes 
to something that your body was just telling you, no, don't do this. I don't, or maybe you felt it in your bones. I don't want to do this anymore. So think of jobs, for, for example. Did you stay in a job too long and it literally sucked the life out of you? That in itself can lead to exhaustion, body burnout, body breakdown, and you can go into an autoimmune disease. Or same thing with relationships. Did you stay in a relationship that was toxic, did you stay in it too long? Your your body was telling you no, your heart was telling you no, but you stayed in it anyway longer than you should have. Those types of things will send you, again, down into body breakdown, body burnout, autoimmune diseases. Because an autoimmune disease, if you think about it literally, your body is trained to fight off foreign bugs, foreign bugs, foreign things, whatever. But in, with an autoimmune disease, you start to attack yourself. So how are you, how have you been attacking yourself with your thoughts and your beliefs without realizing it? What kind of inner conflict have you had going on? The inner fights in your mind, like you're really against something and it feels like things are being done to you and kind of like victim energy too. So those are some things to, to process. Um, are you the type of person that you just really don't like change? Change is really, really hard for you. You struggle with change. Maybe you are just really stubborn and you refuse to change. Maybe you don't feel safe. Maybe you get all twirled up because you don't feel safe. Um, and then how about this? A lot of women that I work with, they have this underlying belief that they learned when they were little girls that women don't deserve to be happy or healthy. So when they come to me initially, they'll work on themselves just enough so that they feel okay. So they kind of flatline it. Okay, I'm doing okay now. I'm going to drop out for a little bit until I feel miserable again, and then I'll come back. That happens with, with the women that have that belief going on, like I don't deserve to be happy and I don't deserve to be healthy. So they don't allow themselves to really go further. And that almost all of them will have an autoimmune disease as well. And then just general fear, fear about anything, worry about the future, worry about your health, your family's health. Will I get into a car accident? What's the weather going to be like? Will I be able to pay my bills? Will my car run? What's going to happen? Will I fall down the stairs? This constant worry will exhaust you. It'll suck the life out of you. You'll go down into burnout and body breakdown. Um, and then an overall sense of just not feeling good enough. Like no matter what I do, nothing works. I just, I don't feel good enough. I'm not enough. And all of those really, really common things. So those are really common mindset issues that need to be healed when you have any type of illness, really. But those are the ones that come up time and time again for people with autoimmune diseases. So I want you to contemplate those things and see if anything resonates with you. And if you're looking, and then so the other piece of this is how do you heal yourself? How do you heal yourself from an autoimmune disease using your mind? Well, first, you've got to slow way down and look within. You've got to contemplate these questions that I was just asking. These questions, these limiting beliefs, you've got to see if you connect with any of them like, oh, yeah, yep, yeah, I've got that. And you've got to view your symptoms as messages their messages, their information. It's like a warning light on your, on the dashboard of your, of the dash of your car. It's information. And it's not that you'll never get sick or never have symptoms once you heal yourself, but it's a feedback loop. So if you learn what I teach my clients, I teach women how to use this feedback loop. So look at your emotions and look at your physical symptoms and look at your life circumstances. And when things show up that you don't like, then it's information. Look for clues, but you've got to slow down and pay attention. What's the lesson? What's the clue? What's the information? All of that kind of thing. And then 
along with that, you have to be asking yourself some other questions like, what's bothering me? What's bothering me? Who or what has triggered me? Who's been pushing my buttons? What's been pushing my buttons? Is it certain people? Is it the news? Is it social media? What's going on? What emotions are you feeling? Anger, resentment, frustration, fear, worry, despair. You get to feel your own emotions and there's nothing good or bad about emotions. They're information. And what beliefs do you have that need to be questioned? So usually people with an autoimmune disease will have beliefs like there's nothing I can do. I have to learn to live with this. My doctor told me there's nothing I can do. There's no cure. I just need to learn to live with my symptoms. So, you know, what's the point of doing anything else? Why bother? Things like that. And I, I get it. You know, we're told those kinds of things. I was told when I had Lyme disease, I was told by two different doctors, there's nothing you can do. You're going to learn to live with it. And in my head, I was thinking, oh, hell no. No, I don't believe that. That's not me. I'm I'm not going to live with this the rest of my life. And that served me well. And that helped me get out of it. So but you have to ask yourself these questions. Do you have beliefs like that that need to be questioned? And then you need to develop new skills. You need to learn new tools on how to unlearn that old stuff and release the stuff that's no longer serving you and create new stories, new beliefs. Decide how you'd rather feel. What do you really want? All of those types of things. And then as you move along, you develop new skills, new habits that clean up and reset your energy when you go back to those old familiar patterns. So it's a, it really is a cyclic learning path. It's, it's not a one and done, but as you have, as you go through your days, your weeks, your months, you get better and better at identifying and connecting the dots between your thoughts and your beliefs and your emotions and then physical symptoms that show up in your life. So I'm going to be doing some new videos, um, on other things. So you, you kind of want to start and break it down. If you have other symptoms like headaches or sore throats or things like that, those tend to be a little bit easier to take a look at. So you want to break it down, but this is a starting point. You might enjoy some of my other mindset tip videos. I have another playlist called mindset tips. Um, so as you're going through your day to day life, you've got to look at all of these things and they will help you to heal, heal the old stuff, heal the old wounds and, and use the feedback loop. And if you're interested in working with me, check out my website, drjoannetully.com. And if you want to, if you're new to this, but you're curious and you want to learn more, start with my YouTube videos and on my website, I have a, there's a button on my main page that will take you to my low cost or free trainings. There's three, three or four free webinars. Um, I change them out every once in a while, but you, um, they might be things like learn to heal yourself, three step breakthrough formula. There's, let me just see if I can even quick or how to use your mind to heal your body and relationships or three mindset keys to finally resolve your health, wealth, and relationship issues. It's really beneficial to watch all of them. There's a lot of similarities, but there's some different nuanced uh, material in there. It really does help to watch those webinars where I've got more time with you to kind of break it all down in a, in bite-sized chunks. And, and so it's easier to put the, the bigger picture together. So hopefully this helped you. Make sure you reach out if you have any questions or if you've got anything else you want me to do a video on. Um, on my website, you can also find information on how to work with me. If you want to learn how to do this, um, let me know. Schedule a breakthrough session and might give you some really good coupons on there too. Some other YouTube videos you might enjoy. Um, check out the vitality, how much energy do you have? Because energy is so related to autoimmune diseases. If you go into exhaustion and burnout and body breakdown, 
you're more susceptible to autoimmune diseases and so you need to get your energy back so you might find that particular video helpful and interesting so thank you for watching if you liked this and it was helpful make sure you like share it out with anybody else that that might be interested and let me know how else I can help you and I'll see you in the next video